Welcome to this first of five video series where we're going to demonstrate how to record a song with equipment that's not that expensive, but still good. It's important to watch the videos in order from the first to last, uh, which will give you a clear understanding of why we're doing what we're doing. Today, we're going to lay down an acoustic guitar for the verses. We're recording with an SM57 and using a laptop with Pro Tools and an Apogee Duet as our interface. Let's start by recording the acoustic guitar over our reference track. As you can see here, we actually doubled the guitar, meaning we recorded the take twice. This way, if we want to, we can utilize both tracks during the mix. It's good to have options. For example, we can pan one take to the left and the other to the right, or we can pan it 50-50. But our focus right now is to process this sound and prepare it for our final mix. I'm just going to clean up the tracks a bit and create a subtle fade in and out, just to be on the safe side and eliminate any unwanted noise. I didn't process it too much. I have a bus made for both of the guitars. Let's see how both of the guitars sound. Since we double tracked the acoustic guitar, I'm going to pan one 100% to the right and the other 100% to the left. Let's see how this sounds. So now it sounds a little bigger, which is a good fit for this song. In the master bus that I'm using for both of these guitars, I have an EQ applied and a compressor. These plugins are pretty simple and I actually prefer that because they're very easy to use. I also have these plugins in the other channel. I haven't used too much compression at all, just around one and a half decibels to two and a half decibels, and on the master with both of the guitars together as well. This was recorded with SM57s, which are dynamics, so it sounds a bit muddy and lacks a bit of brightness as well. I'm going to show you real quick how it sounded without any processing.
It's a good sound, but I feel that it needs more high frequencies, which is why I applied this EQ. Let's listen now with processing. So you can see what I did here. I raised the gain about 4.4 decibels on the range around 11.36 kilohertz. And I cut the low end by 319 hertz at 6 decibels per octave. Then I've also cut the mids a little more around 460. This way the highs can have a little more definition and in the mix it will be a bit more noticeable. Then we can make better adjustments when the other instruments are added and then we can compare them as well. Because remember, we are not mixing just one instrument. For now, this is what we have, and let's continue by recording the other instruments and see how we process them for our final mix. Let's listen one more time how the guitar sounds with all the processing. As you can see, it's not much, but it works in this case. <laughs> 